the NFL betting strategy that you need to turn your $100 into $10,000. Let's go. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is head over to Odds Jam and their positive expected value tool. We're gonna to go ahead and click on filters. You see, this tool's main job is to find plays in the market that have a mathematical edge. This is all it does 24 seven, 365. The three books that we're gonna to wanna to focus on are ESPN, Bet, Fandle, and Fliff. These three books are gonna to prove to be consistent winners for us with this strategy. We'll deselect everything for sport, just select football, Ball and do the same thing for league because so we just want to focus on the NFL. Now for markets, we want to deselect player prop bets. We only want to focus on main and alternate markets for this strategy. Now this is where most beginning sports bettors make a massive mistake. They have no odds range that they focus on. They just take plays that they feel their gut tells them is a solid play. We're gonna focus on minus 140 to plus 135 as our range. And last but not least, for our market width, the minimum market width is gonna be blank or you could put a zero right here. And for our maximum market width, it's going to be 40 cents. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and click Save Filter. We'll call this NFL with a bunch of dollar signs. Click Save, and now we have our filter set up, ready to go to dial in these plays so that we can find them very quickly, place the wagers, and make easy cash. So the three books that we are going to attack are Fandle, Fliff, and ESPN Bet. For Fliff, you just have to be 18 years or older. ESPN Bet and Fandle are widely two of the most popular books in all of America. Over the last two football seasons, I've brought back an 11.5% return going after these three books. Now, I haven't disclosed to you what market that we are going to go after. You're going to wanna to stick around to the end of the video because there's some very key numbers that we are gonna to wanna to focus on with this strategy. But first, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna beat the sports books. We upload videos every week teaching you how you can become a profitable sports better and you're not gonna to wanna to miss a video. The only way that I was able to present to you this strategy is because I track my bets and Odds Jam's free bet tracker is the best in the business. Odds Jam's bet tracker is revolutionary in that I can click into any day that I wagered, see all of the bets that I placed from the bets that I lost to the bets that I won. Then I can come down here for the month of August so far and get a bunch of wonderful stats like my ROI, how many bets that I've placed, the bets, the percentage that I've won. Then I can look at profit by sports book. Man, I'm not doing well on this book, but I'm killing it on this book. Look at the sports that I'm doing very well at and then one of my favorite things, profit by market. I click in this glass right here. I can see that I'm not doing well on player strikeouts, but I'm doing very well on first half run line and first half total runs. If you're trying to become a serious sports better this season, especially for football and basketball season, you need to track your bets. And this bet tracker is going to give you everything that you need for free. The market that we are gonna to wanna to attack with this strategy is the point spread. Now, earlier in the video, I gave you a pretty wide odds range to go after with FanDuel, Fliff, and ESPN bet. So I dialed it up and dug deeper. And what I found was between minus 110 and minus 140 on ESPN bet, I brought back a 14% ROI going after this book in the NFL point spreads. With this strategy, whether we're betting on the underdog or the favorite, there's gonna be certain numbers that we're gonna to wanna to focus on. You see, with football scoring, there's some numbers like, buckle up, three, seven, 10, 14, 17, 20, 21, 24, 27. Is your head spinning yet? Yeah, I thought so. They're very important to focus on these numbers and here's why. The numbers that I just ran through are very highly likely to hit when we're talking about spreads. So betting the Chiefs at minus two and a half compared to minus three and a half is a massive deal. Why? Well, when the game's tied and Mahomes leads his team down the field to set up Harrison Butker for that game-winning field goal, betting the Chiefs at minus two and a half when he makes that kick means you win where if you had them at minus three and a half, you'd lose. So with this strategy, when we're betting on favorites, you wanna focus on minus two and a half, minus six and a half, minus nine and a half, minus 13 and a half, minus 16 and a half. You get my drift? These are numbers that most likely the team might win by three, seven, 10, 14, 17, like I mentioned before. So with betting on favorites, you're going to receive a ton of value if you can find plays in the odds range that I just laid out to you on these books with those specific numbers. On the flip side with the underdogs, we want to focus on plus three and a half, plus seven and a half, plus 10 and a half, plus 14 and a half, plus 17 and a half. This is a really big deal because if the Lions beat the Bears by 10, but you had the Bears plus 10 and a half, well, then you win your bet. What's your favorite team or market to wager on in the NFL? Comment down below. Now you have the tips to dominate the point spread market for this football season. And if you love to bet on player props, then click this video right here. It's going to walk you through, just like this video, step by step, the odds that we're going to focus on, the sports books that we're going to want to attack, and the market that we're definitely going to hone in on to make consistent cash all season long.